So I got into Code Chrysalis because I had previously studied programming in school. However, I felt that at school, I didn't really receive the necessary real world applicable technology to start working in the industry. So, you know, I did a couple quick Google searches and I found there was a, a couple options here in Tokyo. And this one was not for the exact beginners. It actually took advantage of my previous knowledge and was able to build on that knowledge. And I felt that I could not only start from the beginning, but I can continue to grow as a software engineer. And one of the things that I learned to, or one of the things I expected to learn here was of course how to build full stack applications. And now after completing it, I can definitely say I am very confident in my ability to build full stack applications. But one thing I wasn't expecting was, you know, the sense of family and community I found here at CoChrysalis. They really were warm and open and patient and very receptive. And it just felt like stepping into a friend's house and them helping me in with my homework. And you know, at the end of the day, yeah. I think my favorite thing about Coke Chrysalis and the main thing I'm gonna take away from this is probably the team environment that I was working in. You know, I had never actually worked when it comes to coding in any type of team environment. It was really, really exciting to take an idea from its infancy with the team, you know, all the way to completion and go through those struggles and do it iteratively over and over and over again until we got better and better. And I think the team environment is something that I'm really going to, you know, really aspire to go into, essentially. What's my future for code? Um, building full stack applications, even with some programming knowledge, we still had a sort of a black box behind it. Like how do things actually work around the scenes? Okay, I can write a function, but how can I actually make something that users can use? So I took Code Chrysalis really because I wanted to learn to build things that I felt could make a change. Build things that I felt that I could solve problems that I see. Of course, everyone's got their app idea, everyone's got their you know, quick fix. However, not everyone can go ahead and actually build that out, take it to its fruition. I have, similar to many other people, many of those ideas in my head, and I wanted the tools necessary to actually put that into place, either rather talking about it and doing it. So, you know, on my own merit, doing what I think I can do to help change things. And now I have those tools. Okay, so as someone with the brief, or as someone with some coding knowledge, um, when I was looking at options for bootcamp, I very I didn't find that many here in Tokyo. However, I found a couple, and in further research, I found that the majority of the ones here based in Tokyo were tailored towards absolute beginner. And in a three-month span, and taking a look at their coursework, it took me to not exactly where I wanted to go. I felt like at the end of it, yes, I could have a base understanding of you know, full stack app development, but what I really wanted was an advanced, detailed, full spectrum education in this type of things. Not starting from what a function is. I wanted to go, okay, you know what a function is. This is how you make an application with that knowledge. And when I took a look at Code Chrysalis's course and curriculum, it really matched up with exactly what I was looking for in a, in a coding bootcamp. You know, they didn't just start from the beginning. They expected a base knowledge. They required you to study a little bit beforehand, pass a technical interview. All these things made it seem like um, I would get more value for my time when I was attending co -Christmas. And in addition also, they had a pre-course, which took this three month excursion and kind of extended it to five months, which actually, you know, the more time, the better spent in this type of thing. But the first two months actually allowed flexibility within my you know, life and my work schedule. So it's like I can do it at home and then prepare for the three month immersive. And like I said, in those five months, I, I learned a lot as true. So, yeah. I would recommend CC to anyone who had a prior passion or, or an interest in coding, but not just an interest in coding, but someone that took that interest and was able to explore that interest a little bit beforehand on their own. You know, if I saw someone who would actually, oh, you know, I really enjoyed coding. I logged on, I took this Code Academy thing, but maybe I wasn't too sure. I was like, okay, that person looked, not only did they have interest, 
but they had at least some drive to do some research to, on their own to play around with something, the curiosity in them. So I think that's necessary to survive here at Co Chrysalis. And I really feel like those people could also use more guidance than you're just your code, free code camp online. So I would really recommend Co Chrysalis to those people. Yes. Yeah, so I, I feel I feel I could I could do the things necessary in my job. Yeah. So in, in three months, what I've learned here is not necessarily everything on the job. And I would think that any software engineer would understand that even after a year, two years, you're not an expert expert. There's always learning. But one thing that CoCrystals really, really hammers down is you need to be able to learn new things on the fly consistently. And by instilling that specific skill and really, really focusing on that skill, that really prepared me to be able to tackle anything. Because I could get a job in a different language, but I'm comfortable with that. I know, okay, how do I learn it? How do I learn new things here? I learned a thousand different new technologies in three months. This is just another one. So I'm, I'm confident that I can go through that process with the hiccups, you know, given that I've done it here many times.